Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Casper, and I'm back with another video. It's been too long. I say it every time. I'm just terrible. I mean, I've been playing the new COD. I've been playing a lot of that. And then I find it hard to come on here and uploading... You know, if I'm only playing for like one hour, two hours, <clears throat> find it hard to upload or even stream. So I just don't bother. Um, so the reason why I'm uploading today is because I've finished the next area. So where we are right now is where we ended in the last video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. There'll be a link in the description. But yeah, oh, if you can't hear, I'm ill. So just uh, bear with me. So yeah, we're starting off where we was last um, as you can see, we had this like temple inside. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to show you is basically out here. It was the next part. So once you finish this bit, you go through to that little challenge room that I show. You finish that, and then you'll get taken outside, and you'll have to do some missions outside. And it's basically like going around the assassins. Like it was a HQ or headquarters or whatever, like sort of thing. Um, I don't actually know where it is. Okay, so this is the door that we'll come out of, basically. Not much of a door, just a few blocks. You'll come out of it, you know, your mate will be stood there, who you've got to meet. And then, yeah, you'll chat to a couple of guys, and then you'll come along this bit. So this is what I've built. Is like, just down here. It's still no foliage or anything. I've put, like, bushes down where they're meant to be, stuff like that. But I need to do, obviously, plants, like the grass and stuff, and also some palm trees. I just need to, like, go through this area one more time put down the last trees and then I'm basically done in this area you can sort of see that the uh, mountains are absolutely huge so before we start going into like smaller details I'll show you the quick overview so you've got this upper level this is obviously gonna all get covered eventually um, but yes yeah, so, and so you've got this this was the temple that we obviously started in the last episode in i managed to i don't know if any of you remember but i didn't have a top bit so i've made these like ruins on top i, I really like how it's like come out especially from a distance you can actually like sort of see that they are ruins obviously and it, it just adds like a little bit of extra life to the top of it like it is an old temple <clears throat> um it's a bit weird with like all the white but that's sort of how it is in the game to a certain extent it's nowhere near as white but i think it does the job and it looks all right if you did notice the Assassin's Creed symbols down there, that's in the actual game. I didn't just do it off my own back, but it does look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's get into the nitty gritty now. So obviously you come out of this bit here. You're just going to come down. There'll be people that you've got to like rescue and just fight some enemies basically. So there'll be a few scattered around. Maybe like two or three up here, two or three down there. Um yeah so obviously we've got the vines coming down here this was an absolute pain in the ass because this bit all down here was all water and the height that i needed it actually goes below the water levels so the water level is at three and this goes down to one and then even like the minus two it goes even lower down there so i actually had to like get rid of all the water and if you don't know bedrock has done some rubbish update where like if you were to type it brings up the keyboard and like I don't want that like it's annoying you can't tab through into other commands you can't like it's just so much slower and it's actually made my life a lot harder um, but enough rambling so yeah you'll come up to this bit to get down I've got this like little water thing I've used another dragon head as like a gargoyle sort of thing just doing what I can I know it's like obviously black with purple it doesn't really match the color palette but everyone can sort of use their imagination um, I used a villager statue again. Obviously, in the last one, I used the same one, but this one I've, I've put like a little crown on top of it, a little like shield in front of it, sort of thing. Uh, this is just a design that I found on Google. Um, but yeah, I, I like how this sort of come out. It just makes it look a lot different to the other ones that I've had scattered around and stuff like that. So it's not all samey, if that makes sense. I think I need to put a villager statue over there somewhere. To be fair. Um, which I'll obviously find out once I go through looking for the, where the palm trees and that are going. Um, yeah, just like putting these little details with like the, uh, whatever this is, the blackstone buttons. Yeah, polished blackstone button. These little indents using stairs. Just they, they all add like life to it because it's a lot better to look at it with like a few little indents, like darker sort of shadows than just one flat wall, if that makes sense. Um, obviously, I've got some palm trees down. Some I actually managed to do, and then others I just couldn't be bothered. 
Um, obviously, it's quite hard when you're literally building out of, like there's just nothing in front of you, just a plain like canvas to a certain extent. It's hard to get these sort of like free um, like smooth transitions, like going down here and stuff like that. Um, it's like it is really hard to like make it look natural. Um, Whereas like in the city when I'm building Unity and even Origins to be fair, it's all just sort of like straight. I'm not doing any like landscaping at the minute. I'm just building like streets and it's all quite square. So it's easy. You just sort of do math, but you can't really do math with this. You just have to estimate and just hope for the best. Um, so yeah, I've got this really cool walkway. Obviously, again, this is one-to-one -one scale. So this walkway is in same sort of design where it'll go down a few, flatten off, down a few, flatten off. And then comes to this little bit where there's like dirt and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, then you obviously come all the way down here. With the height of it, I think this is a lot longer than what it is in game. So I sort of had to make this bit up here a little bit bigger. But I think it does the job. You'll notice these really ugly houses made out of like full on hay. Um, th that's just what they are in the game. They're just made out of them. So I thought let's just stick with it. I then used uh, little banners with like the lines in there just to try and match the hay like it was like some weird door thing but it works and then each one's designed i'm not sure if i put anything in anything i think i've put some stuff in a few of the chests not all of them you'll notice i've used the polished basalt um sorry i don't know the name of the block so i have to like grab them um basically what this is like used for is to like look like it's sort of burnt i'll put a picture on screen of what it is in the actual game but yeah it's sort of like burnt because there's in here there's a campfire so it's like going up and obviously it's on that block um so like the smoke is sort of not burnt it as such but it's just sort of like darkening it i i don't know smoking it i don't know you you know what i mean i tried my best uh we've got two entrances on this one um and then obviously a campfire that's been put out here i use polished um blackstone buttons again because instead of like normal gray buttons where they're sort of like just made into a fire. These are like where the ashes and and you know the remains of the fire. You can sort of see the black bits down there. I've sort of rubbed off on these stones and stuff like that, and they've been scattered about. So it's just like little details help. You got a pole here, and instead of just having like just a straight pole, you know you can put some uh, signs around it just to have some like. Um, like indents you know like it just sort of comes out or you know i don't know what what the actual word is for it but yeah they're, they're just you know sticking out a little bit and then obviously i really like this um what is this called it's a composter it looks like ropes or something like wrapped around it i really like that design and it helps a lot in like the pirate sort of things with the pirate ships because like it's just super easy um and because it's like the size of a block whereas like this with the signs obviously takes up all around it so like you can't use anything but like here i can if i wanted to i can place a block there do you know what i mean it doesn't take up that extra space so it's quite handy with that um obviously we've got like some trees here these are like custom sort of trees a little bit thicker um and then just like designed to look a bit more natural um and then yeah normal trees you'll see that i've got like chains going across from like a few you probably won't need to use the parkour but it's there if you want to you know it'll be uh pretty cool if you do manage to like do it you know what i mean like if you can go around maybe an optional objective or something maybe i'll scatter some things in the trees so you know people who want to get some better loot can can do all of this parkour you know and you got all of this here um yeah there's various like ways you can go these ladders it's a bit tough but it's basically meant to look like there's like logs or like um sticks or something that's like holding back the dirt it's like meant to be like i know this is obviously like coarse dirt which is dry dirt but i use it as like a just it's, it's more dirt than grass so it's like it's been put there and piled up so it's going to be weaker than having it's not going to have as much of like a solid base as say like just digging into the ground if that makes sense um, so yeah, they, they're sort of like holding back the dirt like and then obviously you can climb up it in the game like that Rather than parkour and in other places um, Let's have a look over here. So this I'll obviously say it on on this video But this will be an optional objective. You'll come through here I'm gonna open this up to like a little cave in here and I'm, I, I thought to myself I was like you know I haven't had any wild animals so you know you're going through these jungles and stuff and the main wild animal that you can fight is going to be an angry dog 
Um, so, you know, I could, in theory, like you go in there, you pick something up, you know, whatever it be, and then I just spawn a load of angry dogs and you've got to fight them. You know, they could be quite tough. In the game, I think there's like a cave there that you fight a jaguar or, um, or a panther or whatever it is, but obviously we haven't got those in uh, Minecraft, so you'll have to deal with a dog or a wolf. So... Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. Just, like, mix it up from having, like, skeletons or pillagers shooting you or whacking you up. Do you know what I mean? So, that could be quite interesting to see how they do. Because, I mean, from, like, my first day of Minecraft, I've never hit a, a wolf. Because you just know that they'll fuck you up. Um, so, yeah, it got, like, the sniper tower coming down here. You just got another lower level. Just copy and pasted that tree from over there. Um, same pillar just like loads of layers and it's really nice like the transitions that it sort of has um, and yeah obviously like I said one to one scale not all of the houses some of the houses will have like campfires in this one's not even designed um, but like this one is actually like burnt down like the top of it so like you know these are I've made these darker like they've actually taken a bit of like a hit you know like they're weaker um, to a certain extent um, and yeah and you can come along here you've got two ways to get out to the beach you come here which i was just working on this you go along this bit out to here and onto the beach um that's basically it guys like this is obviously what i've been working on but these mountains they take time they are massive and like i said i haven't been playing a lot i've been playing a lot of like cod but yeah this is the uh, whole overview of the of this area of the map is pretty big obviously i've still got to go all the way around there and like cover up the uh, thing then i will do commands and i'm gonna do them on a video because i want to show people even if it gets five views it may help someone you know so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, it's been a short one but yeah please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace